So we're gonna make uh, standing waves in the plasma of a gas discharge tube. These standing waves are uh, visible as uh, spheres, knots inside the tube, and it's uh, basically the uh, ionized gas that organizes uh, in uh, concentrated, concentrated spots uh, thanks to a, a resonance inside the tube, a linear resonance uh, also linked to the length of the tube. This resonance happens at a specific frequency or kind or a, an harmonic of it, and this frequency is given by the high voltage supply that of course generates the plasma. Anyways, this tube is just a, a UV fluorescent tube that is transparent, so it's much more visible, the effect. And uh, you have maybe seen this effect of the spheres or chains or of, of spheres inside a discharge tube uh, when put near a Tesla coil or a uh, high voltage supply, but now we're gonna generate them on purpose. So what do you need for uh, doing this experiment? Evidently you need an uh, SC flyback, this is from a uh, Tube TV, I just love it, it's uh, so amazing, this one here, and uh, this is of course uh, capable of being driven at uh, high audio frequencies, and it's capable of like 20-30 kilovolts maximum, but uh, now we don't need uh, a so high voltage, just maybe a pair of kilovolts, so whatever uh, C flyback, even uh, uh, hand wound is uh, perfect. And you need a driver for our flyback, and uh, this driver must have uh, adjustable frequency, like in this case, I have here these two knobs here, fine and uh, coarse, because you can't use a resonant driver for the flyback, because otherwise you will never find the correct frequency for coming up with the standing waves. Anyways, this driver is a wimpy driver I made some time ago, and it's a half bridge, uh, bootstrap mod, and uh, you can see the description of this driver with the schematic in this video here, and there are also some experiments with high voltage and stuff. Okay, let's try this thing. Now the uh, logic section of the driver is on, as you can see. The logic section is powered through uh, 20 volts DC from here. And the energy supply instead is off. We have a frequency meter that is already reading uh, kind of 32 kilohertz. The energy supply is given by my adjustable power supply. You see these uh, two and something volts here but the power sap is off. These volts are coming from the uh, logic section here, and uh, it's uh, present because this uh, driver is kind of weird. And in fact, uh, those two volts are turning on slightly our tube. <coughs> and I have here this uh, UV test card, and if you uh, watch closely, you can see the uh, UVC test area is already showing a bit. Okay, but the UV test area isn't showing because the power is too low. Okay, let's turn on the energy supply. Okay, now the tube is on. Yeah, I know this isn't uh, much safe because this uh, gives out uh, UVC rays and also ozone, but um, we are at kind of 2 watts, uh, so it's basically at uh, so low power that it is harmless. Anyways, okay, the uh, multimeter turned off. That's amazing. Okay, let's uh, just the uh, uh, frequency here, just the fine one, because uh, we don't need much. And let's see the frequency and the tube. Okay. It should happen kind of 17 and something kilohertz. You can already see some bubbles forming. Maybe a high frequency hiss, if you can hear it. And here it is. It's a bit unstable. Okay. 
Okay, maybe a bit better now. It's not much visible because it's too bright. Let's increase or decrease the exposure. Just again the frequency. Okay, now it's more visible. And these are uh, the bubbles, the spheres for the standing waves. It's a bit unstable. A lot of things change because of the, probably because of the temperature of the gas inside the tube. Okay. It's still too bright. Okay, now basically what you see is what I see in terms of exposure. Still a bit unstable. And that's the thing. Before it was more stable. Damn it! Okay. Much better. Or kind. Let's see the test card. Mm. Not much UVs. The UV test area isn't showing almost at all. I can I can just barely see it. The UVC test area instead is showing. Okay. So just another bit the frequency because it drifts. And here it is again. Okay. So why I made uh, this experiment? Truth is that uh, I was asking uh, ChatGPT uh, to give me ideas about uh, projects, electronic projects, uh, hopefully with uh, high voltage, uh, vacuum tubes, um, etc. And uh, I asked it uh, so many times, and at some point uh, it said something about uh, uh, resonant uh, discharge tubes or something and uh, I remembered uh, standing waves uh, so I asked it again and again about uh, standing waves in uh, plasma tubes etc and uh, it gave me some ideas and some theory and uh, also at the end also a calc for coming up uh, with a, a theoretical uh, resonant frequency for a 15 uh, centimeters tube that I don't have anyways because I was, I was thinking about a smaller tube. Anyways, uh, this is the story and uh, actually ChatGPT uh, helped me uh, making this experiment but uh, mostly is because I already knew uh, kind of how this works uh, basically. So thanks for having watched my video and uh, you know I'll always be uh, loyal with you. It's a mutual respect. Thank you.